Meanwhile, the United Nations seems to be making little progress on the deployment of a regional protection force to South Sudan. The extra troops were due to be sent to the capital, Juba, imminently. But so far, nothing has happened. CGTS Nick Harper reports from New York. In March, the outgoing UN peacekeeping chief said the regional protection force for South Sudan would be deployed in the next few weeks. While visiting Juba, Ove Ladsu said the UN was sparing no effort in speeding up the deployment and that things were moving ahead. That would have been the first deployment of the already long-delayed task force. The unit would be stationed in Juba and would include troops from Ethiopia, Rwanda, Bangladesh and Nepal. They would be part of the additional 4,000 peacekeepers that the UN Security Council approved sending to South Sudan last year. Yet since Ladsus's announcement last month, the UN has gone quiet about the exact date of the deployment, or for that matter, on any future deployments. It also has expressed more concern about the situation in South Sudan over the weekend. A recent surge in violence has prompted the top UN humanitarian official in the country, Eugene Uwusu, to call for more protection of civilians and for aid workers. In separate incidents, government and opposition forces in the Upper Nile region allegedly attacked aid workers. And on another occasion, government troops reportedly killed several dozen people in the southern town of Pajok. Uwusu has called these attacks both reprehensible and unacceptable. The UN Security Council is due to receive a briefing on South Sudan in just over two weeks' time. Nick Harper, CGTN, New York.